I will tell you, let me tell you a story. It's really, I think it will be really beneficial for everybody. This is will be, inshallah, a really beneficial story. Yeah. So, um, I, so basically the long and the short of it, my wife was, um, my wife was very, um, she wasn't well. She'd had like uh, one, two, three, I think three kids and she was pregnant with the fourth and they'd come, those kids quickly one after the other. She got some type of flu. She was really, really weak, really, really ill. She could barely get out of bed. And basically I had a, um, one of my favorite places to go, one of, one of the really most brilliant places for Dower back in the days, Leeds University. I don't know if you remember Leeds University. Of course, of course. Uh, and all the people he trained up who followed him. So for me, it was like, there's no way I can miss this. This is going to be a mega event. You know, we're going to have shahadas, this and that. So, you know, I basically called up my sister-in-law and said, look, can you come and please look after my wife? I didn't just leave my wife, yeah? Mm. I didn't just abandon her. I, I, I said, can you please come and look after my wife because, you know, your sister. So I got to go to this thing. She said, sure. Right. So I came back from this and I don't know how, but. Um, Abu Sahib, yeah, Imam Abu Sahib. I don't know if you know, remember him, know him. Of course, yeah. I remember him, yeah. Alhamdulillah, we're still good friends, mashallah. So Imam Abu Sahib heard about this. I don't know how. Maybe my wife told him. He phoned me up. He said, what do you think you're doing? He said, you're a coward. You are a coward. He said it to me. You're a coward. How could you leave your wife like that? He said, didn't you know that the wife, the daughter of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who was married to Uthman ibn Affan, that the Prophet ordered him to stay and look after his wife because she was sick and it was the Battle of Badr. Do you think that your dawah there is more than the Battle of Badr? Oh my God, bro. It was like, and this is a difference, Yehi, between knowledge, yeah, and just enthusiasm, the youthful right. enthusiasm. Right. It's like, boom, right? It's like, and you know what, bro, after that, if my wife was ill, it was like people would be saying, oh, but you've let us, we've got so many people coming, we've spent all of this money. And I would say, I would tell them this, yeah? I would say, do you know what happened? Do you know this? And it would be like silence on the other end of the phone. It's like, subhanAllah, what do you want me to do? Like, my wife is not well, she's ill, I'm not going to abandon her. But, you know, that. but that's it, bro. We were so into it, we were so passionate about it. That's the sort of mistake that's, that's you can right. make. You end no, up yeah, abandoning, exactly. abandoning the sunnah. You shouldn't. You don't abandon the sunnah to build the sunnah. <laughs> no, exactly. 